Hi, I am Reginaldo Haslet Marroquin. I live in Northfield and I run the Regenerative Agriculture Alliance. At the Regenerative Agriculture Alliance, I'm in charge of overseeing the ecosystem, the administration at, at a higher level because there are many people that do other management tasks, but I am in charge of overseeing the board of directors functioning, the executive uh, director's position, and also coordinating multiple programs and our relationship with a whole ecosystem across the country and especially across the Midwest and more specifically across the bordering region between Minnesota, Iowa and Wisconsin where we do most of our work. So what we do at the Regentified Cultural Alliance is really focus on the knowledge and wisdom from the past as a foundation of how we can shape the way we work with the resources that we have in the present, the way we inherited them. I mean, understanding that in agriculture, we are inheriting a, a, a world in chaos, but that's what we have, a world in chaos. So the idea is then we take this world we have and by using this ancestral wisdom and indigenous ways of thinking and doing things, we can then redesign how the future that we're going to live in. That future for us is a regenerative uh, system. And regenerative means simply returning back to the way things are rather than pretending that things are differently. So for example, one of the things we do is in the agriculture, engineering, and design, all the way from the science to the community organizing and ownership and branding and control and governance, all of those different layers of what makes up the, the, uh, an agricultural system, the way we pursue the regenerative outcomes and the way we are building a regenerative future is by ensuring that all of those different layers are interconnected as they are supposed to be and that we respect the fundamental geoevolutionary blueprint on which life depends that allowed for life to evolve and to give us this magnificent system that has fed all living systems for thousands and millions of years even. and respect that as a foundation of building the blueprint and engineering the ways we're going to feed the world going forward. To us, that is the most important foundation of regenerative thinking paired with ownership, control, and governance, with, which is what defines what we are able to do on the land. So I was literally born into this kind of work. Uh, my, my parents lived in the northern rainforest when by the time I came of consciousness. <laughs> And um, that brought me straight into community systems that were ran collectively without necessarily having cooperatives or organizations. We simply live a collective life where we support each other, work with each other, help each other, and so on, uh, while still having our private uh, farms and our private lands and our private lives and our homes and all of that. The life, however, the community was collective. And that collectivity and that mindset brought up a lot of opportunities to learn from the elders, to recognize, validate, respect uh, ancestral knowledge, to actually get to see it closely so that we knew the value of it and what it brings us in terms of modern life uh, circumstances and how it can improve our lives exponentially by by not obeying those teachings, but by actually adapting them, by adopting those, those, those ways of thinking and those ways of being. We, I was literally introduced to the foundation of what is now being called regenerative. Now for us, for someone like me, I came into a world that was regenerative, not, not into a world where someone defined regenerative, but into a world that was regenerative. That's a very different thing. So I literally came into it as a birth, as a matter of my, my own birth. And yes, it was never called regenerative by indigenous peoples or by our communities, but it is at the end, you know, the way I grew up. So I came into this world of regenerative thinking and regenerative being as a matter of how I grew up in the communities I grew up, the elders I learned from, the indigenous uh, people, the native people of that territory who continue to live in uh, indigenous ways that also taught me a lot of that. 
And then as a result of that, having been shaped that way in, the, in my mind, my body, my spirit, and that understanding of that, holist that holistic understanding of how living systems operate and are interdependent, even though I later on studied conventional agriculture, graduated from that, and I studied business management and all of that, that foundation is really what defines everything going forward, it defined everything for me going forward once I became an adult and I was supposed to take my own responsible role in this world. It all came together. There's no, there's no need to discard anything. But you do know, you do need to have that ancestral wisdom in order to see clearly how things fit together. And so I came from that. That's what I do now. And that's how I intend to live the rest of my life.